All righty. We're going to get going here. We've got actually one more minute till the top of the hour. Um, so I guess we shouldn't start officially until it's officially the top of the hour because nobody's officially <laughs> late until it's exactly nine o'clock in Colorado. So okay. we'll stall for a second here and um, wait till the top of the hour. Um, Peg Coates was supposed to be doing this morning's session, but she had something come up in her family. So we're, we're covering for her today. And the great thing about working on a team is that the team's got your back. So if something happens in your family, then uh, the team can cover you. So there we go, top of the hour. We're officially starting our lesson for today. So um, we're Cindy and Bo Buck, and we wanted to talk to you about a couple things today. One, uh, Bo's gonna start with something that we learned from Grant Cardone recently. There's a show out there called The Undercover Billionaire. And if you haven't seen it, it's where they drop somebody, a billionaire off in the middle of nowhere without their name, without, with a hundred dollars, they get an old car and um, that's it. And they have to build a million dollar business in 90 days from nothing. And so um, it's a pretty interesting show. You can go on, I don't know if it's Netflix, Bo or Amazon Prime or where does, where is that? It's on Discovery Plus. It's Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel. And this week it, they change it to Discovery Plus, so it's a subscription, and it's today. Today is the third week. Okay, so Discovery Plus is where you can find it. If you've got cable, or you know, you're paying up the nose for for TV like we do, <laughs> you might as well take advantage of your subscription. By the way, I I I stream it through Zoom, so at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. People are welcome to come onto my Zoom and watch it if they don't have Discovery Plus. There you wow. go. Can you put your Zoom number, Amy, in the yes. um, chat? I'll, so, I'll, I'll give the, the link. Okay, see, there's always a way to beat the system. So Amy, if anybody's but it's gonna figure it out, it's Amy Nolan. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Bo, let's start over to you. Um, Grant Cardone is an amazing guy. Um, he's all about 10Xing everything in your life, your business, you know, everything. And he was one of the um, billionaires that had this challenge. He said, it's probably the hardest thing he's ever done. He felt like quitting and he didn't know that he could do it until I think he said day 87. So anyway, Bo, over to you. Yeah, the other thing, I'm not sure if you mentioned it, Sydney, but not only do they drop them in a town somewhere in the United States, which was Pueblo, Colorado for him, but he doesn't get his name. He can't even use his name. He get, they give him a fake name and everything. But bottom line is, Cindy and I are going to do quick two quick trainings this morning. So you're going to have two assignments, both of which we can do during the 20 minutes. <clears throat> Grant Cardone, one of the biggest things, uh, and, and we've talked about this before, I think even within the past couple of weeks, but uh, you've got to realize, we all need to realize that when we're bringing people into our business, that they already have lives, right? Every single one of them have lives. There's 24 hours in the day. Somehow during their lives, they seem to be using those 24 hours up. Am I right? Yeah, they seem to be using those 24 hours up. So what does that mean if they're gonna start bringing ASEA into their life and, the, and doing the work of ASEA? What it means is they have to give something up, right? And Grant Cardone goes, you gotta quit. And the people are going, what do you mean I got to quit? And he says, hey, if you want to succeed, you have to quit something else. If you're going to, you know, change what your results are, it means you're going to change what you're doing. And therefore, you have to quit something in order to add something. It's a vacuum, our time, isn't it? We have a vacuum of time or space. And if you add something to it, something has to go out of it. He says, there is no change without giving something up. So for the first little part of your assignment is just while you're doing what Cindy's going to talk about here, think to yourself about, and you may have already made this commitment and given something up for what you're doing, but whether that's what you've done or whether you are going to give something new up, <clears throat> just figure it out and write it down and share it with us at the end of this. And we're going to send it over to Cindy really quick so we can talk about what she's going to do. Cindy, go ahead. 
Okay, perfect. So the other part of your assignment is, you know, we've been prospecting, reaching out on, you know, to people on Facebook and LinkedIn and um, Instagram and, you know, whatever uh, social media platforms you're using. But I don't know how much you're commenting on other people's posts. So today during the 20 minutes, instead of you prospecting and you making posts about your life, what your assignment is, is to go to your Facebook page or LinkedIn page or Instagram page and comment on other people's posts. So when this is going to help your algorithm, it's going to help you show up in other people's social media because now it looks to the computer that you have a relationship. They say something, you say something. They say something, you say something. So that's when you start showing up. Some people look at their feeds and you see the same five people over and over and over again. That's because you've liked something that they've done or you know, you've said something on their post. So the more you say something on other people's posts or the more, more they say something on your posts, the more you're going to show up on their wall and the more they're going to show up on your wall. So your assignment during this 20 minutes is to comment on what they're talking about. So we all have this channel in our brain called what's in it for me. And the most important person and the most interesting person in this world is me, right? Everybody is interested in themselves, right? And that's why we ask a lot of questions and get people talking about the most important person themselves. And so when people are posting their perfect life on social media, encourage them, you know, congratulations, happy birthday. Oh my gosh, you have, you're a grandma. You know, oftentimes when I'm posting on people's sites, I put a hashtag, you know, hashtag love it, hashtag, you know, good cooking or, you know, whatever it is. I don't even know what I'm doing, but you know what? I don't care. I'm figuring it out as I go along. So it's six after. So that's yours. Those are your two assignments. We'll see you in 20 minutes.